about time. What's going on? Yo. Yo. Rumor Report. Rumor Report. This is the Rumor Report. Talk to him. With Angela Yee on The Breakfast Club. Now, how about this, Charlemagne? LeBron James just paid $36 million for a new home in L.A. Now, check it. this out. Now, this home, he makes $37 million a year from the NBA, but he bought this house for $36 million. It's a Beverly Hills mansion. It's 9,100 square feet. It has two guest homes, swimming pool, tennis court, two and a half acres, and they said the views are crazy. They said the previous owner is soap opera royalty, Lee Phillip Bell. You know who that is? Mm-mm. She's the one that created both The Bold and the Beautiful and The Young and the Restless. Oh, she's a whole legend. She done kept our grandparents entertained for years. Salute to her. Yeah, she passed away, and the estate had the house, and they sold it to LeBron James. Well, sounds to me like LeBron James isn't going anywhere anytime soon. Yeah. Sounds like L.A. will be. <laughs> sounds like the kids will be growing up in L.A., graduating from L.A., all of that good stuff. Salute to yeah, LeBron. And that's- and that's his third home in L.A. that he owns currently. Now, uh, Chrissy Teigen and John Legend, they shared some devastating news yesterday. They lost their third child. Uh, Chrissy that's put horrible. on Instagram, we are shocked. And in the kind of deep pain, you only hear about the kind of pain we've never felt before. We were never able to stop the bleeding because she talked about the bleeding and give our baby the fluids he needed. Despite bags and bags of blood transfusion, it wasn't enough. So that's horrible. Sad. I can't imagine. I don't want to imagine. I mean, you know, you carry a baby for eight, nine months. You you start doing all the preparations. You Mm -hmm. probably got the room ready. You got toys, people sending you stuff on the registry. And then that happens. That that's that's got to be beyond heartbreaking. Yeah, you don't you don't. Well, I didn't necessarily realize how hard it was to have a child, especially because I have so many and it was so easy until we tried to have uh, Brooklyn, which was the last one. And right before Brooklyn, you know, Gia and I had a miscarriage. It wasn't as late, but. It was it was more difficult than before, and we you know it was we we understood and we we've heard so many stories of women having miscarriages and and didn't know how to take it. So it is a big thing. So definitely praying for John Legend and Chrissy Teigen. Hundred percent. On the other note, uh, another note, Usher welcomes uh, a daughter, Sovereign Bo Raymond. So we got to congratulate to Usher, and Who's also Usher? Kevin Hart and wife Aniko. They uh, welcome their baby girl, Kaori. My heart. So congratulations to them. Salute to the hearts. Drop on the clues, bonds for the hearts. That's life, man. That's life and that's death. <coughs> Sadly. You know? Yeah. But, you know, prayers up for John Legend and Chrissy Teigen. Mm-hmm. And prayers up for Usher and, you know, his family and Kevin and Aniko and their family. You know what I mean? Yeah. Prayers absolutely. up for everybody. Now, also, I don't know if you watch the show. I, I really love the show. It's called Storage Wars. Do you ever watch that? No. Well, they're saying uh, a storage container that, well, how Storage Wars works is they pretty much uh, auction off storage containers when people don't pay it. So when people die or they don't have money and they don't pay the storage containers anymore, they auction it off and you never know what's inside. So one person purchased a storage container. It had, uh, it was all Kobe Bryant memorabilia. So it was like 35 pairs of shoes. It was jerseys. It was Lakers practice gears. There was a Lakers all access badge that said Mamba. There was tax paperwork and more. They believe it was probably Kobe, one of Kobe Bryant's storage containers. So uh, the lady had bought it and found out that Vanessa Bryant really wanted information and really wanted the stuff that was in there. So uh, the reps reached out to the person that purchased it and they gave it back. So that was pretty God cool. bless her. All that stuff back. Yeah. God bless her. Did she give it back for free? They didn't say. They said a number of personal items, worn items, and paperwork were so old. Well, well, they were sold directly back to the Bryant family, so it was sold. Interesting. I wonder. I wonder if you was in that situation, would you sell the memorabilia back to the family, or would you just give it back to the family? I'm not. I'm gonna be honest with you. The type of person I am, I would have just given it back to the family, only because it doesn't it necessarily Kobe. feel. Yeah, it doesn't feel like it belongs to me. Correct. And plus, you know, due to the circumstances of of, of Kobe's tragic passing. I would have just given it back to the family personally. That's me. Yeah, but the person who because when sometimes when they do these storage containers, you don't know how much a person has. So if you pay three thousand for this container, you might not have the money. You might invest it all in getting it back, though. Listen, I'm not mad at the woman for what she did. Or the person or he, was it a woman, a guy, a girl? I don't. I didn't hear that part. Uh, it was well, her, uh, well. The person's name was Renee, but uh, Renee could be a woman or a man. But it was a woman. Well, a woman. I'm I'm not mad at Renee for you know whatever she decided to do with Kobe's memorabilia. I'm just saying what I think I would do in that situation. I'm not mad at at what what what, what Renee did though. Okay. All right. Well, that is your rumor report. <laughs> 